What it is with you guys. Good morning from Chicago. So we drove last night from St. Louis, got to the Chicago area, stayed over at our, you know, one of our locations, a pilot or a loves, we went a pilot. Um, and now we're stopping at a few locations. So we just got done with looking at the Fountain of Time. Weird, no explanation. I gotta look up online more. So I can't deliver you anything, but it is a weird statue. It's right outside the University of Chicago. So it was cool to drive around the campus, get to see the what that campus is like, what that community is like, and it's gorgeous. You know, really, really beautiful and so cool that it's right on a public park, so you have just even more space. Um, but now we are, you know, touring around doing basically Chicago Eats. That's essentially what this episode is going <laughs> to yeah. be, or this portion of the vlog. Um, but we are at a place called Dark Matter Coffee. Uh, really cool um, marketing they have here and art. Um, we also got some cans here. Um, this is the Dark Matter Chocolate, uh, Chocolate City. Um, yeah, really awesome. And then we have this other really great one that this is Denise's. This is such cool art. This is the Chicago uh, Dark Matter Coffee. What is this one? I don't it even know. It says IPA, Tropical IPA on the bottom of it right here. Okay. Tropical IPA coffee. IPA yeast. It's from Guatemala. What? That's Fermented, crazy. Fermented, yeah, with IPA. Um, for these big ones, we're about to be so amped. We went with the specialty, which is called the Black Magic. It is Barreled Age Espresso. I got to read this. Almond syrup, dark matter cinnamon blend, and chocolate. And we went with oat milk, um, just as the, instead of doing classic milk. But this thing is jumping. It's it absolutely so delicious. Good. It's yeah. So, so Yeah. So big shout outs to Dark Matter. Um, I'm not sure. They have several locations. I think four. One's actually right around the corner from us right now. But uh, a woman just in line when I was waiting for Denise to come out said that she thought she was at the wrong shop because the menu's different. Mm. Um, and I don't know if that was just something from her or a misunderstanding, or maybe they have different menus at different locations. I can neither deny nor confirm that. But Yeah, this one's called The Mothership, which I like that name. So I was like, let's go to The Mothership one. It just sounds cool. So we went to The Mothership. It's fire, it's lit, like it's a cool little shop. They do have a weird rule right now because of COVID. I mean, it makes sense because the shop's so small, yeah. but they say that only one person at a time is allowed, even if you're walking in together. So Denise went in, it kind of sucked because I couldn't really see inside. I could have, but it, people are ordering online and there was like four people waiting outside. So clearly this is a popular place. They're known for their coffee. Yeah, it's very small inside. It's like you probably couldn't fit more than two or three people at a time. It looks kind of like a tattoo shop inside. It's got a cool vibe, it's dark. Everything looks like that graffiti-ish tattoo art-ish. Um, They've got t-shirts and coffee you can buy there and just a refrigerator inside that sells these. So you can either buy these by the case. They were $24 for a whole case of them or you can buy the single cans and they were four bucks. This one was five because apparently this is a limited edition right, one. Right, because the art, I mean, one. again, the shade. But it's the art really is nuts. cool. We're gonna be in Chicago all day. Um, we have a, we're basically eating our way through Chicago. You know, super <laughs> I'm healthy so on excited, our part. Actually, um, next we're gonna head to Gene and Jude's for some Chicago. Co uh, no, sorry, coffee's on my mind. Some Chicago hot dogs. Um, so Gene and Jude's has something insane, like seven seven thousand like reviews. Really, we're about to eat our way through Chicago. Chicago hot dogs. If you've never had one, you gotta get one. You'll, we'll show you why. Um, I posted one on my story a while back. It's on my highlights on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. So long way to go dot travel on Instagram if you want to see that. Um, and we're going to get another rendition. So telly ho. Telly ho. Let's mosey to the next spot. <laughs> telly ho. So, um, Why silver? Wow. The okay, you're really <laughs> coffee's already kicking yeah, in. Yeah, you are jumping. <laughs> All right, bet. So we're about to move out. Um, and we're going to bring you guys with us. So we'll see you at the next location. Thanks. So we're at Gene and Juice Hot Dogs right now. Um, it's 24 hours a day. Um, and it's, a, from what I hear, pretty much a staple here in um, Chicago. So Denise is inside. A Chicago hot dog has no ketchup. So make sure you do not ask for ketchup when you come. Otherwise, they ain't gonna have no business with you. So we're getting it fully dressed up, everything. Relish, onions, um, mustard, but make sure it's no ketchup. So that's the drill. We're gonna give you guys the works inside. There's also no seating, so don't come here and think you're gonna sit down because that's not gonna happen. So 
they're no nonsense here so make sure you know what you want they've got like four things on the menu i'm looking at it right now it's got hot dog with fries double dog with fries corn roll tamale and order of fries and that's it so just come here be about your business no nonsense because this place is packed the line is like along the whole side of the building and it's raining right now what did you get double everything single everything what's a double everything single everything what is that a double is two hot dogs with everything on it and that means mustard relish onion and peppers and cool. then a single is just a singular hot dog with everything on it dope so we're gonna get in the car because it's raining and we're gonna show you what we're working with. I'm excited. Mm -mm. Guys, so close. Open them up, girl. We're all waiting. Well, I have to sanitize. It's cold. All right, right. you're right, you're right. Step. Hit us up, show us. So we got a double everything, a single everything. And they put the fries, you said, right on top of it? Yeah, like a I think for presentation, they might not do it for the to go. Oh no, they oh, did no, it. They, they did, did it. Open it up. Fries on top. They make it So like when a you open it, it unravels. Dang, so you got everything right there, like on the hot dog buns. You just eat that. There's like a, a little weird pepper. Yeah, I don't oh want dang, they got wow, okay. Two so dogs. Two. two dogs on it. Alright. We finna get into this. I'm gonna let you know how, how it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. The extra sloppy here. This is what they look like. So this was like literally, this whole stack was rolled on top of my hot dog. This is everything that works on it. You can see it's messy. I got two dogs in it. Denise got the single. I literally thought they were gonna put two hot dogs next to each other, but I guess not. So this is how they do it here. They also, you see the peppers, they do like pickled peppers. Um, the one on my Instagram is like the really nicely dressed up one. These are just like all about your business kind of hot dogs, like no nonsense. So they're really good though. Um, what would you, they're Vienna beef, I believe, hot mm -hmm. dogs. What would you rate this compared to the other one? I like these better. You like these better? I don't know. I kind of like the other one because it felt real fresh. It's nice. Like the onions are good on this too. Like they got a good snap. I like this one better because it tastes like a, it's like a nice mom and pop shop downtown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how they wrap your food. It's not a bougie hot dog. I think the other ones were like eight or nine dollars. I think it's a little these bit are ridiculous. yeah these are worth it. These are three these bucks. Are three bucks with all these fries and they just wrap it up yeah. and then it just give you to a nice brown bag. I don't know. It just has that real like greasy hometown feel that I like. Word. Where the other one was down by the waterfront. So I guess it's hard to compare because they're different. By the waterfront, it's a little shop. We got a burger. They dress it nice because. Mm -hmm of the location it's more money this when you look at the building and like you expect this type it's been of here for a long time mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't get, didn't get the official date but you know it's been here for a minute it looks like the building looks like it's from the 60s so mm -hmm. and this is like the little go-to spot i mean it's packed right now it's like lunchtime you got construction workers all these older people younger people mm -hmm. yeah a lot of older folks that look like they've been here in the, that live here and been in the community for a long time so I yeah, I went sign. inside and it was a little old Italian man. He was like, yeah, give me the number five, skip the, skip the onions or something. Or like, yeah, like a code name for it. And they were just like, no problem, boss. What's good, guys? So we are on the Lower West Side. We've had a lot of rain today. And as we said earlier, that a lot of stuff seems to be closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So um, we've not had so much luck in Chicago. And there's no way, there was no real way for us to know this. I guess we could have checked everything at a time, but we didn't. We're currently going down uh, the train tracks on the Lower West Side. Um, on these really dope graffiti walls. And so um, we're just checking out some local art, going about and seeing what else the Lower West Side has to offer. Um, yeah, so we're just kind of piecing together. Um, it, we, I think we both wish it was a little bit more cohesive in some ways or things were more, more things were open. But you know, it's just a weird time with COVID. A lot of hours have changed and things like that. So you can't really control that and you gotta roll up the punches. But so far today has been excellent. Um, really enjoying the rain actually. Good, nice switch of pace. Um, but yeah, so we'll get into showing you guys some of the art.
it, folks. So we ended up stopping for a few more graffiti things. Um, Denise really wanted to get this one over here, which is these books. Um, it's a pile of books. The cool part about them is that they are all real books. And when I was shooting it on the camera, I didn't realize it. So Denise found all of these. They've been a lot of fun. This is really cool because it's, the, again, the Lower West Side. Um, the art is really, you know, well done. It's fun. A lot of variation in style. Um, Denise found it on a web website called WTTW. So she found these on a local website, right? Yeah, WTTW, I think it's either the local network or some local... It looks like a PBS website, the logo does, but it has My Neighborhood Pilsen, because that's the name of this community. And it'll show you all... It lists all the pieces of artwork. There's little snippets of photos of them, and then they'll give you the address to where they're located. So most of them are on 16th Street here, kind of a big loop around. Um, so it, it points them out like they're different addresses, but in reality, they're one long like wall full right of all so it's the art. it's the wall i was talking about that yeah. was that's the train track so there's that and then it also goes into some of the community and down some of the yeah. streets especially in some of the restaurants and things like that yeah it's really beautiful yeah and the cool part is some of them some of the artists put their instagram handle on things like that mm -hmm. so you know denise is going to follow up on a few of them hopefully because she liked their art so much the one thing i'll say is that if this list is really good if you're here in chicago for a limited time or if you want to be like, you know, get dropped off here on the main street and then walk back here. Um, so you know what pieces you might want to see or, the, you know, uh, in person. If you're just someone who's looking for art, uh, just get dropped off um, on the main strip and head you know, and just walk in. Uh, you're going to not be disappointed by any of the art. A lot of it's really cool. Some of it isn't as technical, but some of it really tells much more of a story, which is cool. So this is a fun little bit. We're going to head onward. I think we're going to head to the the Wicker Park Secret Agent Supply Shop, or .co, uh, which I don't really know a ton about, but it sounds kind of fun. And we're also going to head to Mario's to get some of those Italian ices, which are a must. So, off to Mario's. What's up, guys? So, we tried to go to a few more locations. We tried to go to the spy supply shop but unfortunately we found out that i mean fortunately unfortunately but fortunately they've kind of pivoted in what they're doing since the lockdown they're investing all their time and, and resources into uh bettering the community and school programs and making sure kids have adequate abilities to do schooling and learning at home so that's great but they also stopped doing a lot of their like cool gadgets and things that they do online but yeah then we decided to go on we usually stay at pilots or other state uh you know travel you know centers so we're at a pilot outside chicago now about 40 minutes and we are trying another company so this is giordano's um we went to the one by the airport had the second most reviews i think it's like 2700 i mean maybe just because it's by the airport so you got to get some yourself some deep dish but we're gonna crack this puppy open, see what we're working with. All right, Denise, do the honors. Let's see how their deep dish looks. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is way different than the one we got. Oh my God, look how thick this crust. Oh my God. Jeez Louise. This is a small? <laughs> yeah, this was, this, this I told you is huge. That's crazy. Okay, wow, I think Whoa. I think we need to get plates. Because this is, oh, because I put it down. I wrote down we need plates. Plates, and then we have, these are the sauces from this Bro, appetite. I don't know if we're finishing this, and if no. we do, we're gonna be in a coma. Oh um, this is insane. So, you gotta do the stretchy, you gotta do the stretchy one. Pull the slice out and put it on. All right, hold on here, take some plates. Take like this, I, I mean, feel like I mean, this like two or three. Like heavy. <laughs> this is like a workout. Let's see. Oh man, do the stretchy slice. If I can. Is it cut all the way? It's not cut. Hold on. Whoa. That is. It's just no. 20 pounds. It is all 20 right. we did oh the gosh, We did the classic, so it's pepperoni, mushroom, onion, and red pepper. I believe it's the Chicago classic yeah. for them. So, go. all right, let's see that cheese. Ooh, look at that. Yo, that's insane. <laughs> wow, this is so heavy. All right. Do, do Try me. that piece there. One right here? Yeah. Deep dish. Huzzah! Oh, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. That's a good looking piece of pizza. Alright, let's see how it tastes. 
Oh, you're going to... Oh, holding the camera. It's an Eastern camera woman. Let's see how these ingredients taste like. Mmm. It's good. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Better than Peaks? I mean, I'm just eating, I'm just eating the ingredients now. Oh, you like it. Wait, hold on. I don't think you're Make meant to eat nice. it like that. All right, you're going ham. Wow, she's digging in there. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's like 20 pounds of cheese. That's really all it is. There's like no crust and just all cheese and the ingredients, so. Yeah. You know. That's a cheese pie. We're gonna finish this. Just wanted to get, show you guys what we're working with. Um, it's our first real deep dish. I don't know, I guess Pequod's is our first real deep dish, but this one feels like way bigger, deeper, rounder, taller side. So uh, we're gonna finish it and uh, we'll see how it goes. What it is, what it do, you guys. So, last day in Chicago. We uh, had an early night last night and uh, headed to our the, the pilot we were staying at pretty early. Um, we are feeling tired, you know. After doing so many consecutive days on the road, you know, it starts to wear on you a little bit and that's normal for every trip. So, it is our last morning. Uh, we are here at Project Brewing. Um, it's a really beautiful, you know, brewery, coffee shop. They do do food. It doesn't get served till 11.30, so it doesn't necessarily benefit us, but we're out here in their yard. Um, really pretty artwork. It's very pretty. The train's actually right here, so it's sometimes noisy. Um, yeah, it's in a cool part of town, nice and quiet. And I will say that um, the inside is just really, really nice. A great, great space to work, and the Wi-Fi seems quite strong. You know, we'll see once Denise hops on a, a Zoom call, but. Um, and then I'll hop on one a little bit later, but it's really it seems quite strong and it's it's been you know It's a really enjoyable space. So we're gonna do some work this morning um, And then this afternoon, we're probably gonna leave around three or four So we're gonna stop at a few more places. We don't have a really big agenda today It's not one of our most I guess exciting or action-packed filming days, but um, In some ways ready to go home, but not ready to go home. You know, I think that's how it always goes once you get into your stride on the trip so we're gonna get into some work, into some meetings, and then um, we'll see you guys in a little bit later around Chicago. Pretty slow day. We're actually gonna head out a little earlier than we planned from Chicago. Um, work calls. Got a lot of work meetings, a lot of decisions to make around COVID. Um, sorry, I gotta turn the ground, guys. It's hot. It is hot out here. Um, but yeah, so we are. We're gonna get back. Um, you know, our company allows us to be remote, but not, we can't. We're not totally remote, you know. And so we have some programs that we gotta make decisions around for COVID, you know. And uh, we normally are in middle schools or running weekend programs and things like that for children and for outdoor education, but um, or the school program that is happening in the schools that we work at in, in the upstate New York area. But it's just, it's you know, I think there's about we gotta kind of mosey along because there's just too much coming up. So. When and if we're more remote, we're going to be doing probably try to do more more situations like this. Um, but we're going to start moseying back to uh, to New York. I think the only thing we want to stop and make sure we do is get um, some more coffee at Dark Matter. Uh, uh, it's just too good to pass up, and Denise did a great job finding them. They're a great group, guys. They're a great coffee. They're expensive, but it is worth it. So.